Hi and welcome back. Time for another one. And uh, we'll uh, continue on the letter T. And uh, first up we have the album playing in the background. And it's the band Totem Skin. With the release Welts merch. And this is a Swedish crust grind band I guess you can call it came with us this insert just an inscription what wealth smirch mean and the lyrics some pictures and this is a really nice release and uh, sadly they are not active anymore uh, but one of the guitarists started the uh, black and crust band uh, Dutch Street instead so if you like this then you should check out Dutch Street as well and then we have another release by Totem Skin Steel waters run deep. And it comes on a regular black moeno. So is the one playing. Really check out these two albums. They have an EP as well, but I think it was only released uh, digitally. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, check them out. Then we have the band The True Endless with the wings of breath, black metal. on a red transparent final got that early mid 90s sound so for you nerds out there it would be the second wave of black metal sound. Then we have a Swedish Schenk Punk Band. Tristes. It's a compilation of the demos. Livets Lot var en riktig nit. And it's uh, mixed with, uh, it's more toward a hardcore sound. And an ordinary black vinyl. And it's like 12, 13 songs per side. So they're not very long, but it's really good. Short and consistent as it should be. Then we have an album that sticks out in my collection, and uh, the band is Tuesdays the Sky with the album Drift. And this is, to say, ambient rock or something, maybe.
big soundscapes and uh, not so much I think it's an instrumental record or very little singing at least uh, it's been a while since I listened to this one but it's really good got some really nice music here so if you want something mellow and uh, something to relax to check this out Then we have an American black metal band, which is highly debated for uh, tons of reasons, but uh, yeah, this is their first album, and the band is Wada, and this is the The Void of Light album. I really like this one, uh, it's quite diverse. And uh, more original than uh, the second one. I have that one as well, but yeah. Here is the vinyl sleeve, but I don't use it since it's. I don't like the cardboard vinyl sleeves because I would prefer. These ones with plastic liner inside. This is the silver vinyl. This also came with a poster and the band. As I said, there's been tons of discussions lately about this band. The biggest discussion is Americans can't do black metal, which in many cases are completely correct. But we have some really great bands as well, so not 100% true. And then we have the other discussion, but they sound like a copy of the uh, Engla from Poland. And uh, that is right in some sense as well. Especially when you listen to this next album by them. Cult of a Dying Sun. Still a good album, but it's shit compared to the first one. This came with a nice booklet with the lyrics. Credits. also the silver edition vinyl and this came with a poster as well They have a new album coming out, and uh, I haven't actually put any energy into that one, so I don't know if I will either, because while this is a good album, it's still, nah, it was a disappointment compared to the first one, so. Maybe in the future I will check out the new one, or maybe not, I don't know. 
Uh, then we have a Russian band, Ultar. Really melodic and atmospheric black metal. And this is also signed by two of the members. Uh, the members that's also featured in the other Russian atmospheric black metal band called Grima. This is on a white vinyl. This is some really talented musicians on this group. You can check out, uh, they have a live studio recording on YouTube that you can check out. Uh, really nice. Then we have the last one for this episode, and it's with the band Ulvesang. The album is called The Hunt, and this is pure, purely instrumental and towards the folk music side. A really great album. And this is the ordinary black vinyl version. There was a special version done for uh, Record Store Day, which was a splatter version. I almost got that one, but no, I changed my mind. I already have this one, so I do not really need another one. I have this on tape as well. And this is uh, two mo two members. A Boyd and Anna Dujakovic. And uh, it's from the United States. Uh, if you like acoustic folk music, you should really check this one out. And the cover is really nice as well. And also check out their debut album. Uh, I haven't managed to get that one yet, but Someday maybe. Okay, that's all for this episode. Have a nice day.